Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about serial in serial out shift register behavioral model VHDL coding. So in the last few classes I have started the shift registers concept and I have already told you the types of shift registers serial in serial out, serial in parallel out, parallel in serial out, parallel in parallel out. These are the four different styles of shift registers. Now in the case of serial in serial out shift register the data enters serially and leaves the shift register serially data enters serially and leaves serially that means whenever the term serially comes into picture we can understand that the data is moving bit by bit the data is moving bit by bit. For example, if you are having 1011, 1011 is the input 4 bit data. Now, to accommodate this 4 bit data, we need 4 bit shift register, 4 bit shift register consisting of 4 flip flops because each flip flop is capable of storing 1 bit of information. Okay, so when it is coming to the serial in serial out shift register, when it is applied to serial in serial out shift register so the data will be by default stored and loaded with this data 1011 this one is handled by one flip flop and this zero is handled by one flip flop again these two ones are handled by two more flip flops so likewise we are having four flip flops now when a new data when a new data serial in data enters into this shift register then what happens and it waits until the clock event the data input data and all the flip flops data waits until the occurrence of clock event so whenever the clock occurs whenever the clock occurs the data now shifted one by one how it is working see here we are having four flip flops Okay, all these four flip flops are operated with single clock pulse. All these four flip flops are operated with single clock pulse. Then only all these work synchronously. Okay, now this is the D input, data input or delay flip flop input. This is what the original input yes in. And the output available already it is already it is one here and this output is connected to the second stage this output is connected here here it is connected here it is connected now this is zero this is one this is one okay whenever a clock pulse is occurred then this data will be moving into here and this data will come here and this data will move here and this data will move here then after the first clock pulse yes in will come at the output of first flip flop and here it is 1 here it is 0 and here it is 1 okay so after the after the first clock pulse the data will be moving like this the data will be moving like this see serial in 1 0 1 what about this one what about this uh, at last one that last one is gone okay so this is what the shifting if you give second clock pulse again the new data if any new data is there that will be moved again inside here and this data will come here and this data will move on like this this is what the basic operation of the shift register now we are going to write a behavioral model for such operation very simple see we know very well first we need to write two lines library i triple e use i triple e dot std underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all now entity serial in serial out underscore behavioral model is port of now what are the inputs for the serial in serial out shift register we need a serial data serial in and to reset all the flip-flops we need a reset pin 
and along with that we must have a clock signal also clock input std underscore logic and coming to s out serial out out std underscore logic serial out here specifies the data which goes out serial out is nothing but it specifies the data which goes out okay and n serial in serial out underscore behavioral model <coughs> now coming to the architecture part architecture behavioral of serial in serial out behavior is is now see here previously the data was 1011 after the occurrence of clock pulse the data will be serial in 101 serial in is nothing but serial in is nothing but a digit it may be either 1 or 0 depends upon the available input okay so serial in bit followed by 101 and the one which is already there in the input data will be going out so now this is the temporary storage and this is the serial out this is what we have taken as the output pin okay so for the for the storage of this particular serial in 101 data we are taking one temporary signal which is nothing but uh, which has to be called here inside the architecture so signal temporary std underscore logic underscore now what is the size of the temporary signal it has to store four bit data so three down to zero three down to zero begin begin process process of what are the instances we are having only at the occurrence of clock pulse the data is shifted the data is changing so clock is the only instance you should not consider whatever the inputs available inside all the all of them inside the process process should contain the signals which are instances which has influence to change the status of the output okay so process begin if reset is equal to 1 reset is equal to 1 then s out is equal to 0 reset is equal to 1 means s out is equal to 0 s out means whatever the output available it should be 0 else if else if now we are working with the clock when clock tick event occurs then the data will be shifted when the clock tick event occur then the data is shifted so else if we know how to write this clock tick event see i am writing now it is for raising edge i am noting now writing for rising edge rising edge is two states one is the signal is going from 0 to 1 another thing is it is having an event event is nothing but changing the state okay event is nothing but changing the state means it may be either going from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 both are considered as events but which event we are considering that should be specified along with that event okay so clock tick event and clock is equal to 1 if you write this as clock is equal to 0 then it works for falling signal falling edge okay as we are, as i have written here it is for clock is equal to 1 it works for rising edge then temp is equal to 
temp is equal to temp less than equal to it is an assignment operator is equal to c what is temp now when the clock is occurred when clock is occurred now temp is stored with the data serial in which is available at the input along with the along with the temporary storage data which is there already inside the which is there already inside the flip-flops okay inside the flip-flops if you have any data that will be stored here so temp is equal to serial in serial in concatenated with temp of temp of 3 down to 3 down to 0 should not be considered because 0 is going away 1 3 down to 1 temp is having a data which is already stored inside the flip flops temp is having a data which is already stored inside the flip flops ok otherwise you can uh, simply write when reset is equal to 1 temp is also equal to zeros when reset is equal to 1 temp is also have some uh, s out is equal to 0 otherwise you can write it as simply ok I will change the program like this so that uh, you can understand see here instead of making s out is equal to 0 first we will make as it is the first time we are writing for the flip flops data nothing is there inside the flip flops so if reset is equal to 1 then we are saying that temp is equal to zeros 4 zeros nothing but we are first resetting entire flip flops so that uh, the, there is no data and whenever the clock event occurs the data will be keep on changing ok so this one now whatever the data we have from here to here this data will be moving here temp 3 down to 1 along with the, the SI SI is nothing but serial in serial in whatever the input data we have taken that will be concatenated with this temporary data after that and if and process and then yes out now it should be assigned with temporary 0 because 0 is the last one which has to go away and behavioral ok this is what the serial in serial of shift register behavioral model thank you